That microphone's almost too tall for you. Well, yeah, I had to point it down. When I'm with you. Stop. When I'm when... <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rex with Corbin. I'm Stephanie. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon, following us on Twitter account, subscribing to the like button, because it helps the algorithm. And welcome back. And today we're doing a movie review of the Telugu, uh, 2009 Telugu film, Magadehira. Magadira? Magadira. I don't know. I don't either. Uh, but it's the S.S. Rajamouli uh, director, director, director film. Um, and uh, starring Ram Charan and uh, Kaja. Agarwal? Yeah. I don't know. I don't either. I apologize. Um, but uh, it's came out in 2009 so if you haven't watched it please go watch it come back because this will be a hundred percent spoiler review uh and if you're wondering why rick's not here uh he uh, i might do a, a review with rick it just depends he's just has given me indications that he wasn't going to like this film at all uh he's well, i think only about 30 minutes in by the time we're recording this um he would watch some this morning i think and then he was going to watch the rest and so if he ends up you know changing his mind or has different thoughts. But I told him, I was, if you absolutely hate it, just let me know. Um, but I'd want to talk about this with Stephanie. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, so, yeah, if you haven't watched it, please go watch it uh, and come back because it'll be a hundred percent spoiler review. But babe, what did you think? This is your, you have seen every SS version movie film except for Bahubali one that we've seen, right? Which is Bahubali, Bahubali 2, you saw Bahubali 2, RRR, Iga. Yes. And now this. Yes. So the only one you haven't seen is Bahubali 1. Yeah. Correct. I believe that is correct. Um, and so what did you think of this film? What if I said I hated the whole thing? I know that would be a lie. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. Yeah. I it, liked it a lot. Um, it and, was a good time. Mm -hmm. It was. It was um, sweet, funny, engaging. Mm -hmm. um, it was good. It was a good time. Yeah. Uh, and that's one of my favorite things. I, I really enjoyed it as well. For all, even though, you know, it has a bunch of flaws, and which is why I didn't, um, I, I don't think this film should be reviewed that critically. Uh, I just think it should be reviewed if, like, did you, en did you enjoy this film? Because obviously it has flaws, but I'm so happy. One of the things I'm most happy with is that S.S. Rajamuli now has whatever, bu whatever <laughs> budget he wants, he can get, right? Because he's always had the vision. The technology might not have been there, even though he would try things that oh, yeah. were very innovative I mean, for the time his, in, in India. His vision was well executed. Mm -hmm. It just, I don't think that... I don't think the technology was... Yeah, no, the technology wasn't there. There for him. Um, but, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. We'll talk about a lot of uh, of what, uh, the S.S. Rajamuli elements, the Ram Charan elements, and and all of that. But um, let's let's talk about Ram Charan. You love Ram Charan, right? I do. Yeah, yeah. He's a very attractive man. She obviously... Not the first thing you saw him in was R. The first thing you saw him in was uh, Rajasthanalism or whatever Which that one is. I also like. Yes, you did. I she liked I it way more than Rick it. and I did. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, <laughs> but yes, I I like a good rom. He's a good looking man. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Uh, and this is this is such a. This is really has such interesting concepts for films. Like, right? He's it's very Indian. It's very, um, but it's also usually on an epic scale. Well, I th I think. The really cool thing about this was that it was like it had like the the epic um, history like story as uh -huh. well as your current day type modern thing yeah. intermixed. It was it's, a lot of fun. Yeah, 
which I guess ego was also reincarnation. Yeah. Uh, just a different. Not 400 years. No, not 400 <laughs> years, which I, we, we love the intermission little log line. So fun. Of, uh, uh, in 10 minutes, let's jump back 400 years yeah, which, or something like that. That was super fun. Um, but yeah, it's, I, I enjoyed his performance. It, in the beginning, when it was modern times, it felt very reminiscent of Shah Rukh Khan early 2000 movies mm -hmm. in terms of everything was over the top exaggerated yeah um but you knew I, there was gonna be a song yeah yeah, yeah. Gonna be big and um yeah but it felt it felt like that um that i kind of give it a pass because i like him now and i'm like yeah i well, i enjoy what he's doing right now <laughs> it's ridiculous um and over the top but like since like i i really enjoy the uh, rum Charan, um, I, I kind of give them that same pass in, in that time because obviously that's that's for the time what the style was and what they were like, the he's too cool and then, you know, looking off to the screen <laughs> uh, and all that kind of stuff. But then he, he gets in to uh, more of the seriousness once they jump back 400 years. Um, and he becomes the warrior. And he becomes the warrior. And he's so good. Uh, he's such it, the stunt. If it was him, like doing the martial arts part of it, he did. He did a really good job. I don't know if it was him, or if it was his stunt double. Um, but also his dancing in this was, as usual, amazing. Yeah, it was good. Uh, and it's, I I did enjoy the part like, in the beginning when he danced with with his, with dad. his dad, but also like, the innovative of S.S. Rajamouli to put his dad when he uh, they imposed him his dad when he was younger, mm -hmm. which I think they. I think they were remaking a song that his dad did in his career, and that song was a remake of one of his dad's songs, and that's the one they, when he, um, when his dad was younger, I think that was that song, mm. I think. You guys let me know if that's wrong or not. But yeah, just the innovativeness of uh, S.S. Rojomuli. Yeah. Uh, to do, like, in 2009, so they probably did this 2007, 2008 when they were filming this, that's pretty big for for india india and Tel telugu industry before bahubali and obviously those bahubali rr kind of changed the entire game uh with the vfx and there's a bunch of like the vfx aren't good in this movie uh mm. but yeah it's kind of fun and endearing a little bit uh, yeah. <laughs> um something i'll say like i was i was trying to contemplate which movie is better in terms of ega or this one because ega i think is more fun even though I thought I had fun in this one. It's just that when, when the fly comes in, you just have a, a hell of a time in Ega. Uh, but it's like a horrible VFX in, in, for Ega. <laughs> um, but this one, I think, overall, outside maybe obviously the beginning, it kind of had similar acting to the beginning of Ega. But this one, I think, has a like a better romance story, a better overall acting. Mm -hmm. um, and so the, I, they're kind of comparable, I think, in that aspect. Um, I just I would probably watch Ega more still just because of the fly and the and the, how fun that was. But um, I enjoyed it. I I enjoyed this as a whole. Had a mm. whole lot of fun and I perf I don't I don't know if it's I prefer the story. I think I prefer the um full circle romance yeah. in this one more so than yeah. in Iga. Um I mean, we're not comparing them. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I agree. The uh, the romance in this one was nice. I like the when especially even when they were in the current time of and when he they zinged basically. Mm -hmm. I thought that was cute. Um, yeah. It's very Shah Rukh Khan esque in terms of has to find his love has yeah. to be he's always there to protect her even uh and they sense each other yeah, like it's like a, a wind blows and they know somebody's about to touch her and he shows he's up there. and slices his head off or that's what he feels like yeah. he's like which was a lot of fun as well very innovative yeah. of of ss rajamouli um um i will say though the i i think i would have preferred a grander ending. Yeah, the the they could have ended it. Maybe it was comedy that we missed in terms like of Telugu uh, speak of how they. Maybe it's a callback. I don't know. I I also felt like it could have ended on that grandeur moment at the yeah. end. Yeah. But it ended on like 
them ac- just talking across the- yeah across it yeah. it's just it it landed kind of weird for us yeah. the end like the just the overall kind of anticlimactic hey throw me a rope or whatever <laughs> <Yeah>. uh <laughs> whatever <laughs> they said we're all safe now yeah <laughs> we'll just sit here um but i yeah i agree uh, cause it, there was a bunch of epicness going on that it could have mm. ended with. And then it just kind of ended with that kind of weird moment. Yeah. Uh, I do enjoy the fact that a bunch of SS Roger movie films end with a big song number. Mm-hmm. It kind of encapul- encapsulates the feel of the film in terms of, did you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah. I had a good time too. Let's all dance and celebrate what <laughs> yeah, we just did. We it, all it, had a good time. It was a lot of fun. Um, she did a, 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 a good job. It was <laughs> Steph kept commenting. She was like, why is it only the men that can remember what's right. going on? Yeah. But obviously she remembered in the end. Yeah. And I think that was the point, right? If she mm-hmm. didn't remember then by the time the planets aligned, she was never going to remember. Yeah. So. I, uh, I wish she would have kept her warriorness in the, uh, yeah, well, like a little like, more. She was more like a, just a damsel in distress yeah. in the current time. They could all remember their skills basically, but she couldn't. She was like, <laughs> just, just, just the, the girl, just the damsel in distress when she was like this really good arch archer and yeah. and um and warrior back in the day, uh, four hundred years ago. Another character that I didn't expect to like was the what's his face, uh, Shere Khan. Shere Khan. I uh, I enjoyed it. I loved it. his arc. Like obviously he he just loves love. <laughs> he loves yeah. to see love. He said, You killed a hundred of my men. I'm indebted to you now. <laughs> Go get your girl. <laughs> and then when it was present day, he's making yeah. up he, he remembered he was making up for what just happened and he was like, I need you guys to be together. Right. He's like, I can't I can't find my love until you're reunited with yours. I enjoyed really his cute. like cute silliness of his character. Yeah. Uh, which is, just overall goes to S.S. Rajamuli and the what he does with his films, I really enjoy. Because he, similar to, like, especially old school Karen Johar in terms of he knows what he is. He, he like, especially in the 90s Karen Johar. He has his style... It might be weird at times, but you always have a heart under it. Yeah. And similar to, uh, you haven't seen any of his films. Rajkumar Harani, he did PK3 Idiots, the movies we used to watch alongs to. A lot of them are very silly, uh, but they also have a deep heart to them. His might be silly, but there's always going to be this grandeur scale. There's always going to be this major entertainment factor, even if there's flaws in the film. I'm, I'm not RRR, really. There's... That's his creme de la creme. I'm so because the technology has finally caught up to his, his vision yeah. and uh, what he wants to do yeah. in his films, and so that that's exciting because he has these grandeur ideas. And at the time, obviously, maybe if we saw this, if we were Indian and saw this at the time, the VFX might have been something for the time in India. But obviously now they're just they're just bad VFX. But you didn't care because you were being entertained. Somebody was getting their arms sliced off or somebody was – there was a fun song, which was by uh, M.M. – the Oscar winner, M.M. Uh, oh, yeah. It's the same composer yeah. for, for this I one. Uh, I love the songs in this. I thought all the songs – and Rick and I had reacted to a bunch of them uh, already. We had actually reacted to a couple scenes. Did you react to – um, Ram in a cowboy hat, though? I don't remember if we did. Yeah, Ram in a cowboy hat was a look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed that. Uh, it was unexpected. It was, but it was nice. It was. Uh, and, like, it has this, like, stereotypical villain in this, but it's also, like, it's easy to root against him, and it's like uh, he played a, a villi- villain villain. Yeah. Fun uh, and well. Um, I think people need to learn how to zigzag. That's his, his one weakness, just like in Game if of you're Thrones. You're going up against a spear. <laughs> just, just move to the left like two feet, and you'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> um, but I will still say though, a loose end that was never tied up what? was that he never was like, "Hey, I didn't kill your dad." Yeah, why wasn't he? St- <laughs> he had multiple opportunities. <laughs> never cleared that up. Even at the end, she was like, I don't care anymore. I don't care. She might still think he killed his dad, but she's like, I remember you. So it's okay. <laughs> I just, like, it would have been an easy fix. Yeah. No, I didn't kill your dad. That was him. <laughs> oh, well, that clears that up. 
<laughs> so yeah, obviously that yeah that is. A, I don't know why he just didn't say that. So he had like ten instances that yeah. he could have. I, mean, I mean, even when they were in the room and she was like, "You killed my dad. I saw you. I can't forgive you." He's like, "I'm gonna pull a knife on you." Yeah, I don't but have. I'm not gonna. Tell I don't you. have time to tell you I didn't kill your father. Okay. I'm just gonna pull a knife on you and steal you. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I do. I don't know why you didn't. I don't know why you just didn't tell him. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, the the overall, it 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 kind of flowed well for me. Um, even though, like, I would have. I don't even. You were rooting for obviously their love the entire time, but I almost like <laughs> would have liked them to just stay in the 400 years ago <laughs> times even more. Obviously, that takes away the reincarnation element of it, which right. I guess you um, kind of need. Um, but, uh, yeah, my because my favorite parts were probably more the, the 400 years ago Right, aspect. yeah, I think, I think it was very clear they spent the most time developing that portion because, yeah. you know, it had to come full circle. Um. Yeah, that timeline was was definitely. Even the though best. I did my favorite parts of the uh, the present day were with them too, mm. uh, and then obviously when um, Shere Khan came back, I, I enjoyed his character. And I thought it was uh, super fun when he like was finally they were finally facing off, and he reached in the ground and pulled out his head oh yeah that was epic it was so good <laughs> oh that was great i enjoyed that uh yeah so there's just so many like epic fun element parts just like in rrr it's just that's just the creme de la creme of ss roger uh and just everything coming to get her perfectly vfx and his writing and his his vision and the acting mm-hmm. um outside of the white people in that one uh was all but i th- I think, oh, yeah, I will say the song with when he was touching everybody's hands oh, and yeah. all, the, all the white all girls. All the white girls. They were not great. Yeah, no. Also, you knew it wasn't a white girl. Not great. I feel like he knew it wasn't a white girl. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just, it's this is one, like I said, I, that's why I'm, I'm doing this with Steph in anticipation that Rick didn't enjoy this film. Uh, I could be wrong. Maybe he maybe he was only thirty minutes in, and obviously it changes a lot um, mm-hmm. past you know thirty minutes. Um, so if he if he does end up changing his mind, I I, I will do a, a, another review with him. But this is a film that I feel like is more just like, did you have fun? Did you enjoy it more than you should be critiquing this film very much? Um, because I thought it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Um, and I, I enjoyed the heck out of it. I enjoy S.S. Rajamouli's brain uh, yeah. and what he can come up with. Um, and I, I love Ram Charan. He's, um, even though he... I think... Um... I think my son... <laughs> uh... Leland's about to come in. Leland, you can come in. He was supposed to be napping, but he was. I don't even remember. Okay, well, Leland, come here. <laughs> yeah, um, I think it's very clear that he loves love and he loves buddies. Oh yeah, he loves his buddies. Uh, say hi. Good. Hi. Do you enjoy the movie? Yeah, you didn't watch it. Uh, well, uh, we enjoyed the film. Uh, let us know what you thought about this film. What should be our next S.S. Rajamuli film, right, Leela? That we should watch. Let us know down below. <laughs>